Oh, my Arceus! Oh, my Arceus! I have wanted to do this game for many years now. And yes, the game is, as you see in the title, Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. This game, I played the poop out of as a kid, and <laughs> when I finally got this game to work on an emulator, because uh, as you know, I can't record on my N64 due to recording errors and whatnot, but when I got this working on an emulator and I was, you know, testing stuff out and whatnot, it was like, oh, it's all coming back to me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> It has been a while since I played this game, but it just... It's so vivid in my memory, because I played through it so many times, and... I, I basically just memorized the whole game, top to bottom, corner to corner, side to side, back to front... And, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's one of those sorts of games that's just ingrained in my memory. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm, I'm sure I'll forget some stuff along the way, but for the most part, I think I will be able to uh, clear out this game pretty efficiently. <laughs> Alright, so as you can tell, the emulator is not quite perfect on some graphical stuff, but for the most part, it works perfectly fine. So let's get this bad boy going, and um, uh, my controller is not working. Great start! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do configure controller. Uh, hold on, a little profile. Uh huh. Aha, uh -huh. yes, yes, I know, I don't have a memory pack. <laughs> and there we go! It works perfectly. <laughs> Alright, so here's my test file that I was messing around with. I'm already doing pretty well on there, but I'm gonna go ahead over here, probably one of this file, or... I love I love that fish over to the side, by the way, watch us. Watch us. <laughs> and then there's this one over here, Banjo's playing Game Boy, having a good time, but I don't know what... Well, I'll choose this one, because I like the fish. There's all sorts of animations that you can get randomly when you choose a save file, but uh, that is the one that I'm picking. Play around with the save files and you'll see what I mean. So, wow, that's uh, that's quite the spooky lair we got there. Only it's really not all that spooky. In fact, this is probably one of the funniest games ever created. Well, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, here we go, this is Gruntilda! Oh... Hmm. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they definitely do. <laughs> There's nothing quite like Gruntilda. Uh-oh. Dingpot, you must be telling lies. Oh, oh. Yeah, she is pretty cute, yes, yes. Uh-oh. Gruntilda will not settle for this. <laughs> well... Better get moving! If she wants to do something about it, I guess, um, but, uh... I don't know what she's gonna be able to do about it, I mean, it's just... I mean, how can you do something about the looks of someone else? It's kinda... Kinda silly. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna see... And here we have Bottles, the mole. I don't know if I should be reading these, or if I should just be letting the characters' voices play. Because they might be talking in their own language for all I know. <laughs> ah, comfy. By the way, Banjo is in uh, Donkey Kong on these SNES, by the way. I mean, Donkey Kong Country on the SNES on that photo frame there. If you didn't get the reference, because they're both made 
by rare and yes. <laughs> oh no! How? How can you do this? That's impossible. There's no such technology. Um... That doesn't look like Banjo. Well... How could he have made that mistake? That seems... Hmm. Uh, uh oh! Panic! Get, get away! <laughs> yeah, the, the, she speaks all in rhymes. It's quite legendary. I mean, the stuff that they've come up with. Get up! Get over on! It's 2D! It's, I mean, 2 excuse me, why did I say 2D? <laughs> and the game begins! Here we are. We can go back inside the house if you want to. <laughs> I'm just moving with the control stick. There's a picture of bottles up there. This is basically where the, the save file and... Yeah, including the fish there and whatnot. So yeah, you got even got the music going on here and I'm stuck on the door for some reason. That is fantastic. Everything is going right this first part. I'm loving it. <laughs> I love keeping the fails in, really. Hey, Bottles! Oh, that's why you couldn't tell I was Banjo up in the sky. Well, you know, other than the fact that Banjo as a bear can't fly! <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> hmm. Ah, poopers. Uh, looks like we've got a Princess Peach scenario going on here. <sighs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> eh, it couldn't be that dangerous. Eh, I, I, I suppose some training couldn't hurt. But uh, if you'd like to skip this and just get all the moves automatically, press B, but I'm not going to skip this because you're going to miss some fun stuff. So A button it is. Yes, please, Gog. I mean, Bottles. <laughs> okay, I most certainly will. And... We're off! Heck yeah! Well, we can actually press B next to this and... Yeah, and also, if you hold A button, you could skip through the dialogue a little bit quicker. But anyway, we're off! <laughs> I can't jump very high, no matter how much I hold the A button. But perhaps we can remedy that eventually, because it doesn't look like we'll be able to traverse much without that higher jump. I mean, without a higher jump. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I don't have the yellow C buttons on my uh, Xbox 360 controller, but I have them mapped to the second control stick. But oh, okay, that'll that'll work lovely for me. <laughs> so yeah, this is a way to basically teach peeps the controls and having a fun way to do it. So yeah, R button and C buttons control it. So let's. Swing it around. Oh, yeah, look at that. And you can even go in the first person view by pressing C up. And our button centers it right behind you, so you can just do it thusly. Nice and easy. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Um, let's see, yeah, that sounds pretty good. How's it going there? Hmm, your jump could do with some help. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> But, uh, well, I don't know, I mean, he does manage to jump out of those molehills. Yeah, hold the A button to get maximum jump. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, relax, Kazooie, just, just have fun with it. You'll help out on the adventure greatly. So, yeah, we've got a double jump right off the bat by pressing A in midair. Heck yeah. Woo! No, uh-uh, not quite. We got a little little learning curve here at these stumps going around here, so... <laughs> but yeah, this is these stumps here are basically like a training ground for you to give your 
give your moves a shot here. So yeah, hold Z, press the jump button, flat flip it up, and there you go. Those are your jumps for the day. So let's just do them. Let's give some, give ourselves some practice around here. And also, let's get that empty honeycomb piece up over here. And uh, I bet you, yep, you could probably guess it. There's collectibles in this game, and a lot of them. So, get six of them to increase the health. Got anything else to say here? Uh, mm, no, just basically repeats. Okay, good. <laughs> so, that's basically where we're going to be using our new moves for, is to explore Spiral Mountain here and check the place out to collect those honeycombs. Yes. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I, I guess that would be pretty nice. Not really, no, it's just control stick and two buttons. <laughs> mm, let's see here. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Sounds simple, yep. That's, that's what I explained it. And the A button is to go slow, B button is to go quick, so B button to go underwater. Wah. Wah. See, A button, kick his legs, and the winged one there can press B to use her wings. Yep, it's a little bit faster using Kazooie. Anyway, I'm looking for a hole underneath here, and I can't switch the camera around here. That's kind of awkward. Where is the hole? There it is, there it is, there it is. Go, go, go. By the way, you'll uh, there's uh, air over there. If those honeycombs run out, you'll be sad, so don't let them run out. <laughs> All right. Safe. And when you go up to the surface, you will automatically refill your air and yeah. Can I get out from here? Yes, I can. Anyway, where was I? Um, 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 I was going around in that direction, so I'm gonna go back around this way. I, I forgot exactly where that honeycomb was, but I knew there was a honeycomb there. As I said, I'll, I'll probably forget the locations of some stuff, but for the most part, I will... I'll get the memory back as I go pretty quickly. Um, also, uh, there should be, there should be uh, something, so, oh, it's right here. Yeah, there's another one on that tree, which we can, oh no, we can't, we can't, oh no, we can't get up there. Well, maybe we'll be able to get up there later on. But for now, let's go and keep going around this way to this waterfall array, and because there's a little something, something going on over here. And also an extra life going on in here. Heck yeah! Even the extra lives talk. <laughs> uh, I'd say extra lives are probably the most useless thing that you could have uh, in all the things because, well, I'll get into it when I actually get into it. But yes, uh, anyway, let's go and learn how to climb here. Yes, yes. Uh no, all is well. Of course you're not, you're a bird. You're kinda, it's kinda built in you to not be afraid of heights. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, got it. So now we can go back and get the empty honeycomb of deliciousness. Yes! Heck yeah! <laughs> Oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to climb. Alright, let's keep moving on our clockwise trek around the Spiral Mountain. And now you're gonna come across a little enemy. And by enemy, I mean not really much of an enemy. It's <laughs> yeah, it's just, just this rock. His name is Quarry. And yeah, we're just gonna chat with bottles about these rocks. Beak Barge, huh? This, this Beak Barge is probably one of the least used attacks anyone will ever use in their repertoire because there's so many better attacks that you can use, including a roll and a, a graphical issue. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, hold Z, press B, smash! Heck yeah! Hooah! Yeah, see, they're not really enemies. <laughs> Jam Jars is going down by the power of Kazuki's... I mean, Kazooie's beak. I can't talk today when it comes to any character's names, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I said the name Banjo-Kazooie at the start, and I don't know why I said Kazuki. Yeah, forget it. Anyway, let me, let me, thank you. <laughs> hey, 
Last move! Last move! Well, I should say last moves. We must know, yes! We gotta get all the moves in order for us to beat the games. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ah, they're such good friends. <laughs> hmm. Ah, that, uh... The, yeah, that carrot looks like it's it's a lot of challenge there. Yeah, topper here. Yeah, you, you you're gonna be quite difficult to de defeat there. Just just standing in place, hopping there and staring me down all day long. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. That was a difficult one. All right, what else we're gonna? Hey, what? You're actually gonna test me again? Come on now. I learned. Oh, I missed. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I'm just joking around. <laughs> That's another move that we don't really use all that much is the, the claw swipe because there's much better stuff to use, like this roll right here that I'm gonna be using right here on an onion called a ball. So there's the onion, and watch. See how much more mobile that is, and how much easier it is to actually do stuff? Because for the... <laughs> because for the things that you normally have to, you know, claw swipe, you'd have to stop in place, and then press B. But why wouldn't you just roll? It just see, makes more sense to do the roll. <laughs> Alright. We got a new move for Kazooie coming... Come on. We can do it! rat a tat rap So it's it's sort of like an extended, I mean a different kind of double jump in a way that it works. We got Kali Wobble to work on this, but yeah, watch how this works. See, you get like extra air time. Watch that. See how that works? Yeah, and uh, by the way, it's kind of brutal how the enemies die in this game. They just explode into a billion pieces. And that is not kid friendly in the slightest, I gotta say. And there we go! Last one! Woo Heck yeah! So, Spiral Mountain is now cleared up. And if you'd like to check your totals, pause the game, hit view totals, and you can see... Yuppers! Yuppers! Alright. I am out of here, and I cannot change the camera whatsoever up on there. There we go! <laughs> Now you got some of the enemies roaming around here to practice on. They can't actually hurt you, well, you know, except for the rocks. <laughs> uh, there is a little shortcut if you'd like to take just for the fun of it. Whee! Go up, Daisy! Up over here, there we go, yeah! <laughs> it's a little bit faster than going around, well, if you do it quick enough. But yeah, here is the tip top of Spiral Mountain. Hence the name, it just spirals all around the center there. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah. All right. I'm I'm pretty sure it's across that bridge. <laughs> yeah, the bridge was broke, and you wouldn't have been able to cross that until you did all the tutorials and stuff like that. So yeah, not that big of a deal or anything like that. But if you skip them, it'll all be all be fixed up and rare and to go right away. So here we go. Oh, spooky music. Uh oh. Let's get a good look at this, by the way. Just, um, I think I'm a little too close here. <laughs> Let's go out here. There we go. That's that's the stuff of nightmares right there. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's go in her lair and check the place out. <laughs> oh, poor Tui. What's going on? Gah! There is technology to do it! <laughs> that's Klungo, by the way. The one that's limping along. Hmm. Oh boy, well... There, here goes Tui's beauty, I guess. Sorry, Tui. We, we couldn't make it in time. Huh? What? What the? Indeed. Indeed. But I'm not going to start this place until the next part. So I hope you enjoy. 
and I will see you then. I love this game.